hello guys welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'll be showing you how to convert a 2d image into 3d projection something like this so let's get started so first i'll be taking an image so i'll be taking this image uh, you can find this image in pixels.com so i found this image in that website so first what i will be doing is i'll be creating a basic geometry so then i will be projecting these textures onto it so i'll be using maya for that so i'll be creating the geometry for the image which i have shown in maya so the reason i'm creating it in maya and uh, not in nuke is because so nuke does not have the pro proper tools for creating a geometry so it is mainly for a uh, painting and compositing and uh, Maya is for 3d purpose so I'll be creating the geometry in Maya so for that what I will be doing is so first I have to import the image into Maya so in order to do that I need a camera so I will be creating a camera so create a camera so after creating the camera I'll be going to attribute editor so in the environment option there is an option to create an image plane so i'll be creating an image plane and i'll be adding the particular image so what i will be doing is so i'll be enabling the looking through camera option so that when i look into camera so i'll be viewing this image and in the perspective mode uh, so i'll not be viewing the image so i will enable two views so where one view will be the perspective view and the other view will be the camera view so i'll be moving the camera a little bit backward so like uh, if i move the camera anywhere so the image plane will also follow so wherever i want i can move the camera so what i will be doing is i'll be creating a plane So see, I have created a plane, but you could see the plane is visible on the top of it and not on the ground plane. It's because, so the plane is projecting where the camera is visible. So one thing we could do is we could put the plane down so that it fits to the camera. So, but I will not be moving the plane. I will be moving the camera. Why? Because so the plane is perfectly fitted on the ground plane so even if i take this plane to nuke so this plane will be exactly on ground but if i move the plane anywhere else it will be hard for me to find it on nuke so that is the reason i will be moving the camera and not the plane so i'll be also rotating it so maya by default it will be creating a Lambert texture for any mesh or geometry we have created it. So what I will be doing is I'll be using this uh, use background texture instead of Lambert. So right click it and I will assign this use background texture. So and I will enable this wireframe mode so that the edges are visible. And I'll be disabling this ground plane and here also I'll be enabling this wireframe mode so I'll be creating a ground plane so the next is this cylinder so in order to create a cylinder I'll be using this poly cylinder and uh, even this I'll be using the use background I'll be placing it somewhere like here and so, so just so it fit so similarly so I'll be creating this steps this pillar, this cylinder, and this box, etc. So this might take some time. So I'm just going to skip it. So guys, 
as you can see so I have uh, created this basic surface cylinders and uh, steps and this cylinder this wall and everything so this is just the basic representation of what I can view in this image so I also tried to match this perspective to the best as possible so what I will be doing is I will select the entire geometry and I will deselect this camera so this geometry what I will be doing is I will export it and uh, save it as OBG so as you can see I have already saved it I won't be redoing it and also I will be exporting this camera so camera I will be exporting as ABC which is alembic catch and not as OBJ so uh, the basic reason why cameras exported in ABC is because uh, the alembic uh, catch format supports animation though this camera does not have animation that is a basic practice I'll be doing it so so go to catch alembic catch and export selection to alembic catch so I'll be selecting this and uh, export selection to alembic catch and i'll save it so i have also saved the camera so let's go into nuke and project this geometry so guys now i do have this image so this is just a jpeg image so before doing anything so the best practice in nuke is so whatever the format this image or a sequence or a video is so we have to change that in project so it, it is in this format so no issues so what I will be doing is so I'll be projecting this with the geometry which we have just created so in order to project something we need a node called as project 3d so what this project 3d does is so this uh, arrow represents an image or a sequence which means what it has to project and uh, the camera represents the position like where it has to project so I'll be connecting this project 3d into this image so we do need a camera so the camera is what which we have created in Maya which has been exported in Alembic cache so what I will do is I will create a camera node and uh, I will click read from file and I will import the camera so I'll be connecting this camera I'll be connecting this camera node to the camera so now what we have to do is we have to import the OBJ so normally for importing an image or a sequence a read node is sufficient but in order to import any 3d object formats like OBJ or FBX so we need a read geo node so I'll be importing the obj file so which is set obj export so now we do have this obj file so we could see it in 3d so as I have followed the ground plane so it exactly sticks in ground plane and the camera is also in the exact position where it was in Maya so now what I will be doing is I'll be giving a texture to this geometry so by connecting this image giving it as a texture so now you can see the cylinder of a texture so the texture on steps on the surface on the wall and everywhere so in order to view it in 2d so we do need is a scan line render we will be connecting the scene pipe to this geo node and the scan line render to viewer so now we got something like this the reason we did not get the right picture is because uh, it is rendering but it doesn't know from where to view it so we need in the exact perspective of where this camera is because that is where in this perspective we have created this geometry so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this camera I'm going to show it in this exact perspective 
be selecting this camera node so and I'm going to animate this camera so remember the starting point of this camera should be exactly in where it has been projected so now we can see that both the cameras are in exact position you can think this is single camera but no there are actually two cameras in the exact position so now what I will be doing is I'll be selecting the camera 2 and uh, I will set keys on translation and rotation on the first frame and I'll be going into last frame and I will be doing a slight translation remember I'm animating the camera 2 and not the camera 1 because camera 1 is projecting the image which we are using it as a texture and rendering it in 2d itself camera 2 is what we are animating now if we see so the camera 2 is animating so if we look that in 2d so guys now you can see that the camera 2 which we have animated has been projecting and we can see the depth of the image so guys now we can see the camera 2 has been animated and we can see the depth of the image which gives us a feel like it's a video this is a basic example of how project 3d works i will also be releasing a part 2 tutorial on uh, explaining much more concepts in project 3d so uh, please do like this video and subscribe